Good morning. Uh, thank you. First, thank you to all of you for coming here and being part of this, uh, uh, I would say, an acoustic sharing day. Thank you to, to thanks to Celia. Uh, before uh, giving the microphone to Etienne for a, a small introduction, I would like to give you some more information about, about the day. Uh, some of you might have uh, noticed in, in their bag, in their tote bag, there's a, a short list, a, a piece of paper with uh, group, group number and members. This is a small uh, game we, we matched in with the, the organization team. Um, the idea is that you, you find all the people of your group and then you go in the, in, the, in the hall at the entrance. There is a small card box with a game called Frequency Guess. And with your whole team, you have to go there and listen to the three frequencies and write your guess at the back of the paper. Then you put the paper in the card box, and at the end, we will, uh, we will say who is the winner at the end of the day. So if you have any doubt, you can, you can ask me, you can ask Estelle, Arthur, and the organization team. Um, OK, I think, of course, because uh, no organization is perfect. Some of the people on the list did not come. Some came just yesterday. Well, inscribed there and just yesterday, so they are not on the list. But you can still ask us, and you can still uh, go listen to the frequency and try to guess them. Okay. Um, so this morning will be everything in this room. There will be a short break in about an hour and a half. And uh, this afternoon, I will tell you about it at the end of the presentations, but th there will be some uh, panel discussions and some food, a lot of food the whole day. This you will enjoy, I'm sure. OK, so I don't think I have anything else to say. So I will, I will ask Etienne to come to the stage, and I will ask you to welcome him. Yeah. Okay, so go good morning everyone. So this is the first mistake of the day. Uh, Mathieu, just please, can you, can you turn down the, the light, please? So the first mistake of the day is that I didn't take into consideration that maybe some of you don't speak French. <laughs> so I've prepared my slide in French. I'm very sorry for that. It should be due to my age. So I will try to speak English. Oh, ça trop compliqué, mon <laughs> <laughs> I will try to speak English to present you what Celia is and uh, try to improve your French by reading my slides. So what is Celia? Celia is just a network of laboratories, research teams in Lyon and Saint-Étienne uh, working in acoustics. So you see, you can recognize Lyon. And you see the different labs, so located in different universities and engineering school, uh, LTDS and LMFA in Ecole Centrale, LVA, Creatis, Lamcos in, in Salion. I am from LVA. Uh, LTDS, another part of LTDS, very close to here in ENTPE. CRNL, somewhere east of Lyon, near the, the hospital. Lapto, uh, some colleagues are in, uh, working in a university, which is now named Université Gustave Eiffel, but they are located in Bron, and in Saint-Étienne, ENS, which is now a part of CRNL. So uh, this is the network of Celia, and you belong to Celia. Maybe you did not know that before receiving the information about that, that day. So all together, yes. all together, Celia represents around 90 people, permanent researchers, professors, associate professors and researchers, on more than 100 PhD students. So I can say for sure that this is the most important group working in acoustics in France 
and even in Europe, I think. So, Celia was created in 2010 because we received a lot of money from the government. You see the amount, it approximately around 600 euros, 600,000 euros per year. And uh, this was a call named LABEX, Laboratoire d'Excellence, and around 100 LABEX were labeled uh, in, uh, in 2010, and only one in acoustics, which is Lyon, of course. So what did we do with that money? We founded many PhDs, you see, uh, really a, a large number of PhDs, 39, and 25, have the difference have been uh, was done for 25 of them, five postdocs. We also uh, finance summer schools or winter schools. Of course, the, the sanitary situation makes things a little bit more complicated for two, two years now. We also help people to stay for some time in uh, other labs in other countries, and we also finance equipment which is shared between the different teams. So my last slide is about Celia on you. <laughs> what, is benef what benefit can you get from Celia? The most important thing, and this is really the goal of that day, there are many people working in acoustics in many different fields, vibroacoustic, perception, aeroacoustics, ultrasound for medicine, and uh, I forget many, of course, I forget some fields. I am not sure you know all of them. I think you know your lab, you know your colleagues in your lab, but maybe you are not aware that somewhere in Lyon, in other labs, some other people work in very, in, in fields, in research fields, which are very close to your own research field. And I really think that you could have great advantage by talking with them. So this is the goal of the, of the day, and I really thank the, organiz the organizers of that day because it can really help you to discover that network. Also, as I mentioned, we pay for some equipment. I mentioned some, some of them on the, on the slide. Uh, also, keep in mind that in some other labs, there are, s there are some material equipment which you can use for your own research. So just ask. This equipment is supposed to be shared by the different teams of CELIA. So keep that somewhere in your mind because maybe in your research you will need to use this equipment which is not available in your own lab but which you can find in the other labs of, of CELIA. And finally, as I said, we also um, pay for some stays uh, in uh, abroad uh, uh, laboratories, three to six months. Of course, as I said, in the, in the past two years, there was no, <laughs> no stay, but maybe the sanitary situation makes it possible to think about that now. And those who did that were very happy to spend some time in another lab in the foreign countries. It can be very helpful for your research to give you some new ideas about how a lab works to, uh, to help you to find some job after the PhD. So it's very easy for us to, find, to, to, uh, to, to finance, the, to, to pay for these stays. So don't hesitate to imagine that, to talk about that with your supervisors who know the labs which can be useful for you. That's all for me. Thank you very much. I wish you a fruitful and uh, enjoyable day. Thank you, Etienne. Thank you. As Etienne was saying, it's really a really great opportunity this day to, to discover other acoustic fields and other laboratories that mm, maybe you didn't know. And I'm sure some of you didn't know. I won't say names, but organizing it, I had some, really? It is in Lyon? So, 
So it's really, um, really a good opportunity, and I really encourage you to to not be shy today. And maybe we, I'm really happy because today we were able to to have the master students, the PhD students, some postdoctorates, and some researchers. So it's really, really a great uh, opportunity. And really, the master students, you should at least have some numbers at the end of the day, I hope. Um, but I won't talk more. And we will start to this morning presentations with some um, bioacoustics with uh, Julie Tevenet. Uh, I will, do you want to clean the microphone a little bit? I think it will be important because we don't want to start the cluster. 